One of the things, I, I was going to have everybody out here together and talk about this, uh, but uh, Brittany was describing at the end uh, some very specific threats that she says that you had made in the past uh, about kidnapping, killing, and torturing all of them, um, and that you had made that threat to multiple people. What did you say and who did you say it to? Well, first of all, let me, Brittany, I was taken aback by her statement that I was listening backstage to. She was never involved in any, any of this, and for her to say those things that I did, that is all brand news to me. I'd never heard those things that she had said. They were never brought up in any court situation, and the only time that Brittany made a statement against me was that apparently she was run away from home, and she was shoplifting and things, and she was having trouble, and her mother was in the hospital with her, and she told her mother then that the reason I'm doing all these things is because Steve molested me. But then she pulled it back, and Amber said in a police statement that, oh, it wasn't Steve's, it was some guy in school. So just, just for that part. Now, I, when I lost my daughter, Jamie, last time I saw her, she was 10 years old, up until she was 24. That hurt me more than anything they could have ever said that I ever did to them. That was so painful. And I never told any of them that I was going to kill them. I never told Melanie, I never told Amber or Brittany or, or them that that was going to happen. But who did you tell? I may have told my daughter, Jamie, years later. Uh, she contacted me when she was 24. But you told Jamie you, that you were going to kidnap I, them, kill them, and lastly torture and kill their mother? I didn't say anything about torture, but I did say I was in a dark place. and and losing my daughter could have, could have pushed me over the edge. And push you over the edge was to kidnap the two sisters and their mother and, and kill them? Well, the mother. She was the, she was the main woman. I did, I, I had, I'll admit, I, I had some very dark thoughts. Very dark thoughts. I was ready to die, but my wife convinced me that I would just murder her and, and I would be on the run and have to kill myself and please don't do it. I was, I was drinking pretty heavily too. And you, you had the means to do it. You, you had a gun and a camera. You were going to make them confess their lies? I had no gun and no camera, but I was, I had, I was going to record it for the recording. You were going to record it? And how long ago was that? It was 2000, 2001. Uh, it was when I lost my daughter. It was we when they David. told me I couldn't see her anymore. Right. I understand that's very disturbing to lose a child and contact with a child. I get it. I'm a dad. I, I understand that. But you understand that's really poor judgment, and that's a terroristic threat. It's terrible. And, it um, and I'm not trying to get you in trouble. The statute is long run. That's 17 years ago. I'm not, that's not an issue in any kind of criminal sense. I'm just saying that's really poor judgment. Yes, sir.